Well, hello, beautiful friends. Here are some of my best and worst luxury purchases. And I always wanted to do a video like this because I do find these videos to be super duper helpful, especially if there are things on your luxury wish list that you're wanting to buy and you're curious about before you take the plunge. Is it worth it? Is it not? These videos come in handy. So for me, I don't have too many that I don't like, but there's some that I like that I kind of have some reservations about every now and then. So let's get into this and it'll make sense. <laughs> it'll make sense as we go into this video. So hopefully you all would like and subscribe and share if you love, you know, fashion, styling, and also like luxury experiences. That kind of thing is on this channel. Let's get started. So the first purchase that I regret is the Yves Saint Laurent uh, Opium Sandals. I had this in 110. These hurt like H-E double hockey sticks, friends. And I had to go after the 80 mm's. And when it came to even those shoes, they were still uncomfortable. I had to blow dry the plastic on the across the toe. And that worked with expanding that plastic so it's not as tight. And digging into the skin so now i love them but before i did not especially with the higher heel i also went at the same time and bought the closed toe of these shoes so i didn't keep those another regret is the saint laurent this one i don't even know the name of this but it has the little bow on the um on the toe across the toe you guys you friends this shoe hurts it is too flat to the ground. It feels like you're walking on the ground and the heel is not as sturdy as I wanted it to be. And I kept the shoe, I don't know why, by the time I came back from travel, it was too late to return it and I just kept it. And my cobbler said there's nothing she can do, but a few of you mentioned um, using some gummies or whatever they have for the bottom. So I'm gonna try those and just see what see what happens. But I really do need that heel to be reinforced because it is not a comfortable heel. It feels like it's like you're going to fall in it at any given point. So that's my regret. So this next purchase I absolutely love. This is the Fendi first bag. I can wear this anywhere. I can style this up or down. It doesn't matter. It's super duper chic. It goes with a lot of my sunglasses and my attire. And I just really love how you know sturdy this bag is the structure of this bag how much it can hold it is just a really great purchase and if i could get it in every color i most certainly will it is such a good bag my next favorite um that i absolutely love which was a luxury purchase is the dior tote now we see this a ton i've heard that there's dupes of it and all that stuff you guys i prefer not to go with dupes i prefer to have um, really great quality things in my closet, in my collection, just because, you know, to each his own with buying dupes, but I don't know. There's something about going against a visionary and their artistic um, endeavors and just what that looks like, just trying to, you know, curate your own line and whatnot. Um, it's just an appreciation for the artist that I would prefer not to go after a dupe. So um, I have the Dior tote. This is the medium size. I absolutely love this. Now I will say I do need a Samorga because with traveling with this bag, once it gets bogged down with like my laptop and all that stuff, it starts to really get deformed in shape. So I need to get a Samorga and that's my fault. But it is just one of those totes that I can travel with, whether I'm going every day running errands, um, if I'm traveling, it is just a really great tool. It holds a lot. The next purchase that I don't regret is the Chanel Classic Flap. Now, here's where it gets a little bit tricky for me with this Classic Flap. Because I went after the Jumbo, that is my bad. Um, I don't like the size of this bag for me because it's too big. And it's not a bag that I wear every day. Everybody knows Chanel. So you don't want to have this bag like out in, you know, areas that are going to draw the wrong attention. So that's the reason why I would prefer going after something a little bit smaller. Now going around Beverly Hills 
and you know certain areas of LA it's not bad but when I wear this bag at other places it gets loads of attention and sometimes not the best attention so that's the only thing I'd say about that and it's a little bit too big for my taste but again that's my fault I should have looked at that but I'm gonna keep it I'm not gonna let it go um the next purchase that I really love is the Chanel Espadrilles I showed this on my airport outfit ideas videos you can wear this with so many different things it dresses up a look so easily you can dress this up or down but I don't know when it comes to Chanel I feel like Chanel elevates a look as opposed to take a, takes away from it and I love sophisticated comfortable fashion and I would say that these shoes, they are easy going through the airport, taking them off, putting them back on. And every time I wear them, I get a ton of compliments. Oh my gosh, I love your shoes. They're very sturdy. They last a long time. And this raffia material is easy for me to clean. I just use a baby wipe and I get all the scoffs off. Um, I'm huge about cleaning my shoes because when you've invested in shoes that are really expensive you do want to take care of your shoes you don't want to let these shoes just you know get dirty and beat up so i love my chanel espadrilles and i definitely am thinking about getting another pair my next purchase that i absolutely love is the chanel classic ballerina shoes again another pair of shoes that's easy to take on and off now i don't travel with these as far as going through the airport in these shoes but i will say when i do like I put them in my suitcase, I take them with me when I'm going places, and I put these on with jeans, a nice blazer, or jeans and a button down. It just really elevates the look, and it's comfortable because it's a flat. So I really love the Chanel Ballerinas, and again, another shoe that is really easy to clean, and this is classic for Chanel. So I definitely say if it's on your wish list, you will not regret the purchase. All right. A purchase that I regret is this Valentino red belt. Okay, so somehow the holes are too small. So when you try to put the belt on or push the um, the head through that um, the perforations, it's just way too small and it takes a little while to get this belt on. So not one of my favorite belts to wear. I do prefer wearing my Gucci belt or, and I know that people talk about the monogram belt, but you know what? I made the purchase. I love the belt. I'm going to wear it. And I'm hoping to invest in an Hermes belt really soon. That is on my wish list. And everybody in my family that has that belt absolutely loves that belt. Another purchase that I don't regret are the these Tom Ford's. I love Tom Ford sunglasses. I love anything Tom Ford, by the way. But these sunglasses are so chic. They're very, very sturdy, high quality sunglasses. They're very LA, so they go with the vibe of LA. Sitting outside, having a latte, talking with friends, laughing it up. Um, and as you can see, even with this outfit, it looks very chic. It looks very on trend. It does remind me of a Marilyn Monroe kind of vibe. Put on the scarf and be in a nice car and letting your hair blow in the wind while you have these sunglasses on. That's the kind of vibes this gives me. But I absolutely adore and love these sunglasses. Another purchase that I absolutely love is the Valentino slides. These are durable. They can take a beating. And I love running errands in these because they're super duper comfortable. They don't hurt my feet. And because I have narrow feet, they work really, really well. A purchase I regret is the Oran sandals from Hermes. They're too narrow and they don't last a long time. They get beat up really quick. You're going to find yourself buying a second pair really quickly with these. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao for now.